Disclaimer, if you are triggered by divination, astrology, tarot, and worldly discussions, this channel is not for you. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Wisdom and Light here, and I am back with another reading. If you are new to this channel, welcome. Hi, my name is Bianca, and welcome to Wisdom and Light, where we do trending topic readings, monthly horoscopes, and whatever that's going on in the cosmos. So again, if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping on by. And if you're an oldie but goodie, if you're an OG of this channel, if you've been subscribed forever, thank you so much. I deeply appreciate and love you. And happy autumn, happy fall season, happy Libra season, and happy spooky season. Happy October. Hello guys, Wisdom and Light here. So quick announcement, I actually have just a few appointments for October for email audio reading. So if you would like to book one, all you have to do is just click the link in the description box and you can just book there through my website. Also, just keep in mind that there is a wait. I'm actually finishing up readings from late September and I'm working on the October email readings. So thank you guys for booking. Thank you guys so much for your patience as well. And I can't wait to get to um, connecting with all of you on a personal level, but I just want to let you guys know that and i will update everyone on my social medias when i have november readings available so um be sure to be following me on social media everything is in the description down below and let's get back to the reading i thought that it would be a lot of fun to kind of do some spooky readings on the channel and feel free to email me some suggestions and whatever that gets the most suggestions like the most hits the most highly requested i will definitely add it to the list i already have like two in mind my goal is to do at least four to six spooky readings and this is going to be the first one because this has been on top of my list and we are going to be talking about lake lanier so if you do not know about this lake, and let's say you are an international wisdom gang member of this channel, hi, wherever you are, thank you so much. If you don't know about Lake Lanier, it's actually a very haunted lake within the United States that take lives almost every single year. And a lot of you have been hitting me up to do a reading on it. So I thought, why not? So I'm just going to be using my tried and true tarot deck. It's been a while since I just used a Rider Waite tarot. And I just want to see if the energy itself is haunted. I think we know that Lake Lanier is haunted, but I just kind of want to look into why. Why is it haunted? Why does it take lives every year? Why do people feel drawn to go? I want to do a reading on it. So if you're interested in seeing this reading, then please keep watching. And also a disclaimer, this is just an intuitive reading for entertainment purposes only. You do not have to believe in anything that I'm saying, right? That's the beauty about your free will. You don't have to believe in anything but you know grab what's resonating with you and if you're not into spooky stuff like this then i highly recommend not watching um this video okay because it might get a little bit dark but it's spooky season so i thought why not so let's talk about lake lanier a little bit at first i always knew that there was always something off about this lake obviously and then i decided to do some research on it Decided to research it and I was pleasantly surprised by the information that I found but then I wasn't surprised by the information that I found regarding Lake Lanier. So let's talk about the history of Lake Lanier as I pull these cards. We know Lake Lanier now to be what it is today. You do not dare go over there and if you do you're playing with your life. But all the way back in 1912 Lake Lanier wasn't even a lake. Lake Lanier was a town mm -hmm. and it was a black community at that it was a thriving black community so all the way back in 1912 oscarville which is the name of this town but we know it now to be lake lanier oscarville was striving farmers had amazing crops business owners families were flourishing and growing and around this time Oscarville had a population of 1,100 black residents, okay? Until one night, the night raiders came through this town, killed majority of the town folk of Oscarville, and before you know it, there was no longer a black community. It became a white community because we know that racism was very... It was very 
it was louder back then but then again racism is still loud in the united states but definitely back then many people from oscarville was killed that night to take over oscarville so time went on after all of these black people lost their businesses they lost their family they lost even their lives some of them or most of them that was that but from what i'm understanding there was always this heavy energy in oscarville and then eventually oscarville became abandoned until the 1950s the usa built a buford dam from what i understand and they made a decision to basically drown this entire city and we know it today to be lake lanier and since then lake lanier since 1956 has killed over 700 people and in the year of 2023 eight people have died drowning in lake lanier boats have sank in this river this lake excuse me it is a haunted lake people have been said to seeing ghosts to hear screams to hear voices and everyone feels an eerie feeling when they go to this lake but for whatever reason i don't know what it is about 2023 but a lot of people are going over there and a lot of people went missing or they drowned mysteriously so let's reel it back in and let's look at the cards let's look at tarot and let's see what the divine has to say we have the ace of cups reverse we have the four of cups we have the page of swords we have the knight of swords we have the five of cups we have the moon we also have the three of swords and we have the empress the spirit that takes and that attacks within lake lanier because there's there's definitely something alive it feels it feels feminine it feels like a woman it feels like women it feels like the collective of women the night that these raiders came and killed all of these people in a brutal way it was women that witnessed their husbands their sons their neighbors getting killed getting harmed it was women that were witness to that and it was women that went through other things that night because that's not i don't i didn't read that i didn't read what happened to women that night but we can fill in the blanks that the attackers, the raiders that came in and killed, they didn't just kill. They were also taking advantage. The spirit of Lake Lanier is a woman. That's the best way to put it. It's a collective of women or the spirit itself feels feminine. That's the first thing. Almost like... Um, the stories of the sirens, the stories of mermaids where the mermaids leer the sailors to their death. They sing the siren song. Their voice is so beautiful. They hypnotize the sailors because they're beautiful mermaids. But once they lure their men, they drag them all the way down to the deepest depths of the ocean and they're never to be seen again. But in Haiti, stories have shown that they just don't see those people for a good seven years because some of them are chosen and then they come back as priestesses and priests. Magical and all of that good stuff. But those are stories and lores of Haiti. We're talking about Lake Lanier. Similar, similar. These are water spirits and they feel like women, feminine energy. And if it's not oh, that's a woman, that's a man, and let's say it's genderless, the energy itself feels feminine. That's that's what I'm picking up on. I'm just going to trust in my intuition. Ace of Cups reverse, Four of Cups. Something's going on where I actually don't feel that people just say, yeah, I'm going to go to Lake Lanier. It may look like that. And I'm sure there are people that went over there to try to see and then they found out. <laughs> they fucked around and found out. But I'm seeing in this reading that a lot of these people that were drawn to Lake Lanier, there was a calling that they felt. So if you're ever near this lake, I would stay away because 
some people are not able to resist this feeling of let me just go sit by the lake or let me just go in the water let me let me see what it's about because remember it feels very similar to a mermaid's call a siren's call a, si a siren's song it feels very similar to that because even as i'm doing the reading i'm hearing or feeling this pull come to the lake come to the lake come to the lake so a lot of these people that passed because remember 700 people have died in lake lanier since 1956 to now a lot of them or a good, a good amount of them were drawn to just go to this lake for a specific reason. I'm hearing a debt that can never be repaid. Funerals that never happened. People that were not able to honor the dead. People that were not able to say goodbye. They never, intuitively, they never forgave this act. They never were able to let go of it. So when we have funerals for our loved ones, that is a way of bringing them back to the earth and that is a way of giving them peace. Especially when it's done the right way, when it's surrounded by love. Not everybody's funeral is a good one because there's evil people out there. But for the ones that are good, there's normally a funeral, people pay their dues and respects. But that's not what happened here. And there's um there's anger about that. There's first there's a lot of anger and there's resentment here for that. And because they were wronged, it's just going to continue to keep doing this. Ten of Swords, Three of Wands. Three of Wands can talk about looking forward, looking ahead, thinking about expansion, thinking about all of the possibilities. Something is drawing them in. Something is leering them. Something is leering people here. If you live around this lake and you happen to drive by it, you either feel a heaviness or a get out of here, or you feel, let me go over there and see what it's about. Yep, Knight of Swords reverse. It's like, it's like rushing into this prematurely. And a lot of times it's people that want to test it and see. That's why the Page of Swords is here. But Five of Cups, the moon, there's a lot of pain. It's this is the wrath of feminine energy within Lake Lee. And it doesn't look like anything is going to fix it, repair it. That's not what this energy wants. It, that's not what this is about. It's not about, well, what can we do to fix it? I just heard that intuitively. It's not about fixing anything. It is what it is. If you come over here, this is what's going to happen. The only way to make the stop is to not turn this into a huge lake, but to rewrite the so many wrongs that have happened in the United States. And this is one of them. This was a classic case of, uh, this was really ugly. So let's just swallow up and drown this town and let's just turn it into a big lake. Let's not address it. And that was the biggest mistake because water remembers water holds memory guys and it it creates life so of course the energy of this lake feels female it feels feminine so anyone that comes here they're judged they get drawn in and then the seven of cups this can speak about confusion and then the person just gone the tower reverse yeah this this energy here is is here to take in a way this feels like reparations 
So guys, um, if you're by this lake, be careful because there's nothing about this reading that says this is the solution. This is what you can do to make it better for yourself. This is the way out. It's either stay away or F around and find out because it's here to stay. Unless the town itself or this country itself says, hey, let's just drain this lake. Let's do a spiritual cleanse. Let's try to make it right. This will continue to be what it is today. So this is considered a haunted area. Y'all won't see me over here. Okay, so guys, be careful if you're around. But that is the energy around Lake Lanier. It is haunted. It is cursed because of the, the pain that has happened before. And Ten of Pentacles, this is, in a way, the people that die, it's an offering. It's terrible. It's a sacrifice. It's an offering. But it's a wound that will never heal. So it will continue to keep taking people. It will continue to keep doing that. So again, be careful. <sighs> That's the reading. That's my first spooky October reading. So let me know what you guys think in regards to Lake Lanier. Have you ever been near it before? Have you ever drove by it? Do you know anything else about this? Let me know, but oof. It feels, um, it feels alive and well, so just be careful out there, guys. Or just don't go here at all. Just, just don't go. Oh, another thing. We're going to hear more, of course, people drowning because, again, something lured the people in. It's a, it feels like a siren or a mermaid's call. Wouldn't be shocked if there's like mermaids in here, but the water's too polluted for anything like that to be in there. But then again, you never know. Alrighty, guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. And, um... Can't wait to see the comments on this. Bye, guys.